Welcome back. This could very well be the best segment of the hour. We are making a sweet potato and maple bacon creme brulee with Brody White from Chop and Block. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Yeah. Now, yeah. I know that bacon, cooking everything, baking with bacon, cooking with bacon, it's like the big thing right now. Bacon's huge right it now. It is. It's you crazy. can't go wrong. And it's hard for us to keep up on bacon. It's is that like, right? Yeah, I feel like I need somebody full-time just slicing bacon all day. Really? So, yeah. Well, that's fun. good news for you. Yeah. <laughs> so how does this all go? I know that you're going to get me a little bit involved in it. But yeah, Is this for something sure. you sell at the store, by the way? No, we sell bacon. We make our own bacon. So right. that's kind of what I wanted to, to feature today is just sure. is bacon in general. Okay. Um, we make lots of different kinds of bacon, uh, maple bacon, peppered bacon, pastrami bacon, which does a little nice crust on it, mm. or chili crust on it, mm -hmm. uh, like a double smoke, regular smoke, uh, jowl bacon, gammon bacon, everything. So we do lots of it. And we all do it in-house. So. That's awesome. So people can come in and check out what you have because there's a lot of different things going on there. People might not know what they all Yeah, lots like. of different things. Lots yeah. of different things. Good, so, very Yeah, cool. come check us out. Okay. But we'll start with this guy. So I'm going to start searing off our bacon here, and I'm going to post this recipe later today. Uh, so... Uh, I'm not going to read it out right now, but we're just going to start searing off our bacon. We don't need any oil or butter in the pan because the, the bacon's going to kind of start to seep Absolutely. out its own, its own fat. And then yeah. we're going to remove that anyways. I've never cooked bacon in a pot before. Yeah, well, we're going to add some cream and lots of different ingredients. So we, we needed a bigger thing. Yeah. So I'm going to get you to start cracking the eggs. Okay, how many? Uh, eight of them. So these ones here. Oh, okay. Not yeah. these. Why? Uh, those are the special ones for dinner. Special ones. Uh, so okay. you're going to put the... Yolk in here. Oh. I should put the yolk straight into that. Okay, I messed up. Just use half of your mm -hmm. half of your deal there. Nice. Look there at you go. There we go. Okay. This is something I do when I make lemon meringue pies. If you get the yolk and the uh, whites mixed together, your meringue won't work out. So you have yeah. to be very particular about it. Okay, so we're just gonna sear this bacon off. We're gonna try and get it as crispy as possible. Mm -hmm. We might not have enough time for that, though. That's all right. We've got time. This is going to take me a while. <laughs> Keep talking. What else is going into this? So we've got uh, like a creme brulee, basically, is a, is a baked custard. So you mm -hmm. have the basis of it is eggs and cream. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're flavor, flavoring our cream with the bacon. OK. Uh, and then we're adding uh, the sweet potato in, into the mix. So I, I use cooked sweet potato. OK. Um, I just parboiled it. I put a little sugar in the in the water that I used to cook the, the sweet potato. Yes. Just to sweeten it up a little bit. Okay. Is this so, hard to make, generally speaking? No, actually, last night I did a batch, and it took me about, well, I did that batch, and it took me 10 minutes to get it into, into the oven. Nice. So it sounds fancy, but it's really quite easy. It's pretty easy. So our bacon is close enough to being caramelized. Might be a little bit better to get it a little you bit more. You can give it another minute. A little bit more color. Look at that. Oh, I can move forward. Give it a minute. We well, want we're it to gonna, be good. We're going to put the maple syrup in here. Yep. This is kind of what you call deglazing. So you're going to get all that caramelized goodness that was on the bottom of the pan. Okay. And that's going to separate from the bottom of the pan and go into our into our liquid for our recipe. Okay. Down to the last egg here. Okay. So we're just going to bring that back up to a boil. So once that's out of boil, and you've noticed that it's all the little bits have kind of come off the bottom of the pan. Mm -hmm. We're going to add our cream. Okay. And you want to start whisking sure, this Sure, whisk away. Yeah, Ooh. I can whisk. This guy. We don't uh, need Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just Wrong whisks pot. the grabs the first thing she grabs. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. So this isn't a calorie-wise dessert. No, let's definitely just say, not. Right? Definitely it's not. one of those times when you're going all out and making yeah. something absolutely. Now you can precious. do a, diff a few different things. Like we talk about calorie-wise. I mean, you can use different sizes of, of ramekins to bake it off in. Okay. Uh, so we've used this one. That's probably a, like something that you're, you're only going to have that dessert. But maybe over the holidays you're going to have some, you know, parties or something yeah. where you're going to have a few different desserts or you're bringing something to a dinner. You can use a smaller little dish like sure. this. Sure. And people are going to think you're the coolest person ever if you bring creme brulee. Yeah, it especially sounds if it's like you were in the bacon creme brulee. Right? So it sounds like you're spot. in the kitchen all day. Okay. Are so, we good with this? Yeah, we're good there. So that's starting to boil. We've got our sweet potatoes. Can you pass me the Whoops. spatula? Yes. Sweet potatoes into the blender. Our mm -hmm. eggs are in the blender. Yeah. And then here we've got our vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, and brown sugar. Delicious. That looks good. I like to use a blender uh, for the sweet potato one because there's lots of you know fiber in the in the sweet potato that you want to break up. Yes. And you want to get it a nice smooth consistency. Okay. 
So there is a little bit of healthiness to this, actually. <laughs> a little bit. Marginal. You gotta look really hard, but you gotta look it's, hard, it's but it's there, there just yeah. marginally. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna strain out the bacon bits that are in this milk. Okay. Uh, we're doing it quickly, but if you if you wanted to, you could leave let this sit for you know an hour just to get that bacon flavor really absorbed in, right. into the cream. But we're okay. gonna move forward here. Okay. So. So you're gonna strain it right into there. God. You okay with that? Mess up. Yep, I think so. Okay. Okay. <gasps> that could have been bad, Brody. <laughs> that almost went over. Okay, there we okay, go. So we'll put that back there. But okay. Just set that up to okay. the side. This is still on, just so you know. Yeah. All right, should so we be taking a break soon, or do we got a couple more moves to make here? We'll start blending this, yeah, and then we can go to a break. Let's yeah. blend. Let's blend and hit the break. We're back in a couple minutes. In the kitchen with Brody White making a delicious creme brulee, and we are sort of halfway through the, the, the process. Yeah, so now we're gonna bake it off. Okay. So we've got our mix, which or our, our custard mix, or, or Royale. Mm -hmm. uh, so the best thing to do is let this sit overnight. And that, that takes, lets all the air come out of it, and then you kind of skim the mousse off, and then you just use the, the straight custard. Okay. okay, but in the interest uh, of time. In the interest of time, we're just gonna go with it. And we wanna fill these ramekins up. Mm -hmm. Right to the top. Okay. As full as you can possibly get them. Looks good. Yeah. And you, you want to choose uh, a ramekin with with a really wide uh, mouth on it, mm -hmm. so that you get lots of the like, caramelized right, sugar. Right. That's the best part. And yeah, for sure. So then you're gonna move this into the oven. Mm -hmm. We'll do this first. Want to? It's called baking in a water bath, so you okay. want to put the hot water. Bring it to a boil, throw yeah, it in. Yeah, bring it to a boil. You want really hot water. You use a tea kettle if you have one. Okay. And then you just move this to the oven. Okay. We'll leave that for later. We'll leave it for now, but that's yeah. where it would go. How that's long would you bake going. it for? Uh, last night it took um, 45 minutes okay. at 350 degrees. Okay. Okay. Um, so this is what happened last night. Turned out really well. Sure did. Let's get a close-up okay. of that beauty. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, it's just perfect there. So now we're going to do the, the brulee part of the creme brulee. Okay. Okay, we're just going to put some sugar on top of it. You originally asked me if I wanted to do this, but you know what? I've decided that <laughs> in gonna, best interest of it turning out. We're going to go heavy on the sugar, and then we're just going to shake it around, make sure it's all nice and coated, but we don't get it on the ramekin. Because it'll so burn it? It'll burn the ramekin. Well, it'll burn the sugar on the ramekin. So pour off the... And it just doesn't look beans. pretty. No, for sure. Okay, so now we pour off the excess. We just have a nice little coating of sugar. What is this? Uh, that is caramelized uh, bacon. It's the bacon that came Ooh, out of our cream. Delicious. We just cooked it with a little bit of maple okay. syrup. And okay. there we go. So, there we go. <laughs> so many things could go wrong here, but they won't. You're in control. Look at that. Just like that. Bubbling up a storm. That was fast. I'm really glad I didn't do it. It would have not <laughs> ended that way. Okay, wow, so there's our creme brulee. Good that looks. I've got some uh, crispy jowl bacon. Jowl. Does jowl? it come from the jowl? It comes from the jowl. Pork okay. cheeks. Then we, yeah. we cure them and smoke them just like we do regular bacon. Okay, that looks And delightful. then we're going to take our little candied bacon, stick it on top, and away you go. No fruit on this one. There is no fruit. <laughs> no fruit. There's zero fruit. No vegetable. But okay. zero, 100% delicious. Yeah, this is absolutely. a great one. Now, if people want this recipe, how can they get it? Uh, we're going to post it online along with a video okay. uh, as soon as we get it up there. And uh, that way, some, there's some instruction awesome. and, and all the ingredients that you need. All right, Brody, this is a good segment. Thanks yeah. for being here today. Uh, we've made a gorgeous creme brulee. And uh, if you would like more information, you can go to sprucegoose.ca. Uh, you can also phone or hang out Or uh, just come visit us. That's right. That's yeah. the best way. Yeah. All right, we're back after a quick break. Stay with us.